Cure is very capable of going weird mech styles here, so don't just expect, you know, a bunch of games of bio from him. Yeah. He, he likes mixing mm. it up. Now, oh, well, well, we don't even have times for introductions. <laughs> Spawning in the bottom right-hand side of the map, it's Cure. And in the top left, he's red, he's Zerg, he is Solar. Are you from. even a Terran pro gamer? If you don't two racks a zerg. Uh, no, you are not. What I like about the clan that Solar belongs to is its triumphant song, Gaming. It makes me so happy. Oh, why it's is a great that? clan name. Is it? Yeah, triumphant song. Yeah. What's the name of the, this proxy spot, by the way? This is ridiculous. It's pretty good. <laughs> like, how close? Like, this has to be spotted, right? No, he changes the course. Oh, my gosh. He is oh my just, gosh. just outside there. Like, that. this is about as in-your-face as you can get. Kier clearly has been, like, studying this. Oh, oh, the Overlord. Oh, oh, bop, 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 bop. Hard left. Okay, it gets identified here by Solar. Oh, is so a drone good. moving down? Extractor immediately canceled so he can... Ha but then he restarts it. I guess that was just an... I don't know what that was. Never mind. I don't either. I don't strange. think Solar knows, but he's like, okay, send the drones. Go, go, go. One of the barracks has finished up. The other, I think, definitely should finish up. So these drones that were pulled are not going to get too much done. They can soften up an SCV or two, or maybe try and surround the Marines as they come out. Either way, Solar is definitely uh, very glad that he was able to spot that in time. Yep, so the drones are fighting. They're pretty good against Marines in straight-up battles just because they're faster and they hit pretty hard. Yeah, the SCVs uh, Marine... repairing each other is a nice touch. Yeah, Marine, Marine control Kira. pretty good. Yeah, Kira has definitely done this a thousand times, whereas Solar has defended it a thousand times yet. It still seems to be a toss-up of who's going to win. Uh, Kira's starting to move forward with his Marines. He's getting two bunkers on the way. Solar is definitely going to have to pounce on top of this to stop it. He's waiting for Lings to come on out. Kira's starting to kite back with his Marines, focusing down drones. The question is, can he get enough damage done here? He even snipes down the Lings, which have the higher damage output than the drones. Doing a very good job of that. He's just kiting and kiting and kiting back. Drones are really starting to fall here. Kira has nabbed up six in total. His Marines still going, retreating versus the Lings here. Oh my gosh. That is oh, some micro. That was some top tier control. He needs to get oh my that gosh, bunker, the Marines so so low on HP. That being said, though, I mean, uh, oh, he's moving forward. That's a bit risky. It's always tough to take on a queen. One of the bunkers is just alive for a second here. It's literally burning down as we speak. Boy, if he had another SCV to repair that bunker, it'd be a different story. Yeah, Kier though, he throws up a command center back at home. He's got his got a gas up. So he's going to be able to start a factory. However, it was kind of up in the air whether this would work, but the result is a resounding no. Yeah, I mean, at this stage, Solar has a pretty good hand on, handle on this. He's not worried about it. The Marines? Oh. you got to give it to Kier just for diving on in there like that. On creep, though, so the Lings are able to connect with the Marines. One of the Queens goes down, though. Kier taking a good trade here. Solar kind of underestimated that uh, Kier would keep this going just in an odd way. Like, it's he's transitioning, but he's still got a formidable force here. Yeah, six more Lings oh, on the way. Speed's he about wants that queen. Though. He, he wants that queen and the drones. Any Anything that he can get. He's actually taking very good trades here. Oh my gosh, Kier is just getting incredible value right now. He is, but you think this has got to be it. I don't see any more Marines in production. He's still just Marines. making Marines, though. Oh, no, he is. <laughs> he's he's oh, like, yeah, this is, this is going all right. I'm going to make a few more. Brand new, fresh, healthy queen wants to kill the, that Marine. Creep spread would be helpful in this situation. Okay, speed now he's is, done. Yeah, speed is done, so your window has wow. closed. I mean, the links, speed links are now out at seven, but there's five Marines crossing the map, so they should be fine. A barracks going... Each direction, one home, one towards the third in an attempt to block it. Solar gets set up in time, though. The Lings for Cure, they were like, uh, or the Marines for Cure were like, uh, we probably won't make it home, but they were in reality could have. There's not that many Lings there. Is he, is he just going to go for, like, the third or something? Like, <laughs> what are these Marines doing? <laughs> they're feeling brave. That's what they're, they're doing. <laughs> oh, gosh. Gonna pack themselves into that corner and try uh, to do their best with it. I mean, 
Uh, no, they're done. Oh, it's gonna be close. Ah, uh, the lings went out in the end. Just by half a zergling. By half a zergling. So, I mean, Kira definitely got damaged on this game. The fact that he was able to keep that going a little bit longer, Solar was like, what? And Kira's already getting up towards his third command center. He's making Hellions as well, so he doesn't have to worry about, like, Ling counterattacks. A Roach counterattack, though, is a pot is a... It does have potential here. Kira's moving across the map with his four Hellions. Is he just going to decide to run on in, hoping Solar cut too much? Uh, Solar did not, though. He made the perfect amount of Lings, it would seem. But, oh, Hellions starting to get onto these drones. They're getting pretty good shots off. Eight drones go down for four Hellions. And uh, in a low economy stage like this, I think Kira would take that trade. He also identified the fact that a Roachhorn is done, so he's going to have to look out for that. A bunker would be something very nice to see. And there we are. Yeah, Solar might be gearing up for a big Roach Ravager attack here on about two and a half bases. We've seen that quite a few times in the meta recently. Yeah. That's, that's nine mm. Roaches in production, man. Yeah, more. Make, make them Roaches, Solar. You do you. Uh, it feels like this is so late, though. Like, the Roaches, they don't have speed, so they're going to cross the map pretty darn slowly. There's True. this Viking here, which is going to basically give Kira the confirmation that he needs that this is coming, and he's probably going to throw up another bunker or two if I had to guess. And then just uh, kind of panic. He's got a tank on the way. I think we definitely need to see another bunker or two for Cure. He knows this is coming, but he's not really doing a whole heck of a lot right now. There we go. Supply Depot going up. SCVs are going to need to be pulled right away to repair this. Like, this bunker cannot go down of your Cure. No. Also, a Banshee would hmm. be really nice, but kind of too late for that. Yeah, he's getting a tank for it. There we go. SCV's pulled on top of this. This is really scary, though, from Solar. This bunker needs to stay alive at all costs for Cure. No matter how many SCV's die repairing it, it is so pivotal. The Marine's putting out a lot of damage in order to uh, work away on those Lings. And with the buffer gone, has Cure just held in one? Yes, he has. <laughs> all right. I don't know about that from Solar. That was an interesting choice. I don't think he needed to go for that. He was in a pretty good position. My okay. gosh, his army value was twice as big as Cure's there, but... Repair pretty good. <laughs> repair is pretty good. Those SCVs died holding onto that bunker. And their lives were well spent. I mean, don't ask them that, but yes. Their <laughs> commander would think so. <laughs> yeah. Cure appreciates it, I'm sure. They, they did a good job. They They'll did. be remembered. Mm -hmm. I'm sure they will. The Dominion is well known for remembering their foot soldiers. <laughs> <laughs> they're, uh, they're convicts in a suit that have to do their bidding no matter what. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so we're just making sure everyone is ready and we are loading on into the next game. I didn't ask for predictions, but do you think uh, Kira's going to be able to close this one out, or Solar bring it back? I mean, winning game one is hugely important in the best of five. Best of seven, less so, but in the best of five, yeah. And like I said, Kira's just capable of doing everything. Anything you want to see from a Terran player, mixing it up enough to keep Solar on his toes, which, I mean, if there's one thing you want to do against a Zerg is keep them guessing. So, I, yeah, yeah, I think Kira can win this. I don't see why Oh my not. gosh. You doing it again? He, he he's doing it again. It's Cure, ladies and gentlemen, for Team Gen Air. This is the guy who's that Maru is going to be practicing for for the global finals with. And in the top left, it is Solar. Sorry, I did both introductions there. Yeah, my bad. <laughs> All right, let's see if they get scouted this time. The Overlord's not really in a position to do so. But, you know, they can take turns and stuff. They have angles. But I don't see it happening. Those Overlord projections and trajectories, I think is what I meant to say, they're not really in a place where they can do anything about this. Yeah, 
All right, so I mean, standard uh, 16, 18, 17 here out of solar. Very good macro style opening. Pretty good at defending against early aggression too. It's kind of a middle ground that way. Especially if, you know, your overlords see nothing. Standard is the way you want to go. But he's actually heading up. North yeah, this is actually going to be very, very important. Solar's going to be like, oh man. Yeah, so he sees the SCB coming from that direction and says, uh-huh. Immediately pulling drones off the line. <laughs> yeah, he, he Solar is no fool. He he yeah. knows what's what's coming. He's like that SCV came from a bad place. <laughs> okay, drones gonna try and cancel that bunker. They make that happen. Overward getting worked away on. A lot of drones pulled in here already. Sixlings uh, in production. This is a lot of drones chasing down these marines. But yeah, hmm. This, this, keep in mind on that last map, uh, Kira wasn't going up a ramp for the attack, whereas this time he is going to be. So getting up a bunker yeah. is very, very important. If he can get it, I just don't see Solar allowing it, right? Yeah, Solar He's is going to do He's the got same the thing. The He's kiting from Kira is just so, so good here, though. Um, Ling's getting focused down individually, yeah, drone's yeah. getting the snipe down, Solar's committing off creep in order to defend this, but Cure's micro back is just so good here. The SCVs, they got shut down, Solar did a good job doing that, oh. but man, Cure's micro back is so, 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 so good. He just brought another SCV, he could do so much better, but as it stands, I think he's just done at this stage, he's not getting anything else here, maybe a couple more. Or rather, Zerglings as they chase out off creep, but... Yeah, hmm. now that is what we would have thought in the last game, too. It's true. But and he's still making his players. Marines. Kira, Kira thinks one thing right now, and he thinks, make Marine. Both barracks going home this time. Yeah, time to head home. I think Terran's the only race that can commit a lot to cheese like that and still win the game. <laughs> Kira with a slash... Okay. I mean, if you look at the colon after his name, it kind of looks like a, like a frowny face. Right? <laughs> Is that what he, in, he intends that? Maybe. It's just easier to type slash rather than... I like to imagine he was typing slash dance and then <laughs> kind of... Messed it up. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> uh, double CC follow-up, as is the usual after something like this. Oh, yeah, for sure. Really super greedy, man. So what are we at? 31 to 25 workers. Okay, Solar's all right. His third base is coming up, just now getting started. Oh, uh, Ling's looking to get this SCV. The Marines, using the minerals, trying to position themselves appropriately, and they do just that. Able to repel those Marines, keep the SCV alive. Beautifully done by uh, Kier. Because if Solar is able to shut down that and kill all the Marines, it's pretty much just GG. But that is not the case here. And then no. we've got two Hellions out for Cure, so uh, any Ling aggression from Solar, once again, pretty much done. Scouting Overlord doesn't get any of the information that he no, wants. No, it doesn't get information on the third CC. Mainly because he's slow. He, we don't have yeah. Overlord speed today. Mm -hmm. But I mean, he kind of hesitated and went back when uh, the Viking was shooting him and he saw the Marines. But it's like, there's a Viking, you're going to die anyway, just keep it going in. And he very well could have seen that command center. Like, he was one hex away. Yeah, totally. And so I was don't land don't hesitate, base. Zergs. If your Overlord's dead, accept that. Just let it Just go. Just dive in. Especially if there's a Viking. Like, if there's Marines, that's one thing, but Viking, for sure, that Overlord is dead. <laughs> yeah, Aki, it's, uh... Not so much a Rubik's Cube. <laughs> I mean, intent, But I can yeah. see where you're coming from. <laughs> it's the dance floor. It's actually... The most important part about this is that creep is kind of hard to see on the dance floor. Oh, is it? Mm -hmm. Hmm. There's been some games where it's been a little bit confusing as to where the creep extends out here. I think all the tiles should just turn purple. Yeah, there's creep on so. it. That, that would be cool. Okay. Right, so, hmm. 
I like this from Solar. Solar didn't go for the big crazy Road Traveler counterattack play, though maybe it would have worked considering the quick third base that we saw from Solar. But live and learn, I suppose. Take your risks. And here comes a small push out with some Hellions and a bunch I of Marines feel with some Medivac support. If went for the main base, this would have got more done. Either way, he's just going to be trying to push some creep back. He's got Hellions, he's got Marines. He's going to have Stim in just a second here, and he might be able to have the Zerg's fourth base. Gets the cancel. And yeah, Cure, especially with a Bailing, doesn't really want to extend that far onto Creep. Getting surrounded is a serious concern. So just pulling back, kind of hiding behind that box of colors a little bit. Marines moving in and out, wanting to bait Solar into a bad engagement, which Cure can get pick offs. Fire on the way from Solar here, and the only question is, is it going to be Mutalisks or Corruptors? As we've talked about previously on these casts, Mutas don't do very yeah. well unless you're Serral. It Man. was uh, Cure versus Impact, or Cure versus yeah. or Impact versus Alive. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. One of those two, and which Impact just did not make the right units. No, the Mutas did uh, not do very well. Solar's Crash going off creep like a madman. Here is splitting his Marines. There's a tank in the mix, and I think that was a pretty darn good trade there for the Terran. Agreed. 1-1 one, one finished up for the Terran. There's no 1-1 one, one for the Zerg, and this push could very well just move across the map now and kill the Zerg. There's a few more Banelings being produced right now. Can Kier focus them down? He's got Medivacs to support his Marines. He's getting a tank siege up. He may have to lift up, though, to get these boys away from here. Oh, he's going to have to do that. The tank, though, will be forfeit. Wow, Solar holds that. Looks like a tough position yeah. to be in, but... Good hold from Solar. Kira got a little gung-ho there, I feel. 13 Mutas on the way from Solar. So Serral against Maru in the Global Finals did the best Mutalist control I've ever seen in a ZVT. It was what? flawless. So if you can pull that off, Solar, no pressure. Wait, can be who just fine. in the just Global play like Finals? Serral. Serral versus Maru. I thought they didn't play. Uh, oh, maybe it was time then. You're right. Oh, time versus Maru. Never did Maru. get the okay, yeah. Maru. You're right. It yeah, was time. no, trust me. I, I, I just, I'd be yeah. thinking about it if there was a, if there was a Maru versus Serral match. Yeah, for sure. That would have gotten a lot of attention. People are very sad, but maybe they'll meet in One the playoff. Dream. Yeah. Now, this is nice for the Zerg, the fact that he's been able to force the Terran back. Once you get the Mutas onto the side of the Terran's map as the Zerg, you're in a pretty good spot because it forces the Terran to stay on the defensive. It keeps the pressure off you as an extension. And uh, it's very, very good for the Zerg. Yeah, I feel like a pretty even game right now, to be honest. Cure getting the third base out fast was really nice for him. Solar managed to hold on to his fourth base was really huge. And now a fifth base coming at the 12 o'clock position. Infestation pit on the way. Drilling Claws coming in. Love Drilling Claws versus... Going Ling Bane Ling Muta for sure. Yeah. Hmm. I a think couple good Widow Mine shots can really ruin Solar's day. Definitely. Just mass Widow Mines are so, so good. I, and it was actually Kira versus Impact 2 in the last Africa World that uh, Im, that Kira just had insane Widow Mine hits that always found a Mutalisk. Looking back on that series, well, Solar, though, I feel might be a bit of a caliber above in his unit control list, so I don't know if Kira's going to have as much success finding value like that. I just suddenly solar is everywhere, poop and creep in every position. His vision is insanely good and Cure finds himself backed into a small little corner. The Muta's harassing a little bit at the third base. Again, turret's pretty good against that. And Anitis just now finishing up from Solar. Where is he going to try to Anitis, though, is the question. Hmm. I don't see many good options for him. It's got to be the main base, right? Like, I think it well, was actually in that... There's a little hit squad of Marines, though. Like, hmm. 
Yeah, maybe not right away, but maybe in the future. I think it was actually that Time Mars series, or that Time Serial series that you mentioned, that it was like Mutas and Banelings popping out in the main base. Yeah. With Anitas and that. That looked pretty good. Now, it we've reached this good. point. I mean, uh, the trick here is that the Nidus Swarm was erupting in a place where there wasn't already unit scrambling to get there. Yeah. So if it's a okay, situation... there it is. Oh, the Muta's actually engaging wow. onto the Marines. A bit of a risky move. It definitely costs some Muta's. However, uh, this has successfully allowed the Nidus to get up, I believe. Cure just going for it at that fifth base up north, making an attack. Yeah, at the same really time. committed attacking into this location. There's a lot of Banelings, Widowmines, and Marines able to clean out most of them, though. And we're in a bit of a base trade situation at this point. A Thor pops out, but the Lings help take care of that. Marauders are out, but they're not going to help with the Mutas. And all of a sudden, Cure's production could be compromised, and a Terran without production is a dead Terran. It's true, but taking down this base would be huge. Banelings trying to connect on those Marines. Widowmine's helping oh, thin that Banelings good splits, but out. oh, the rocks! Oh! Oh, it, what? That was massive! Now we can't attack. Oh, that's humongous. The main base is just a horror show for secure right now. Yeah, the main base secure went down, and the thing is, the Zerg just has like a one... He has a direct line to Kier's base. That he can just send more and more units, and Kier is a dead nerd, I feel like. He should oh. be able to shut down this Nidus now. Ooh, nice. Okay. But and not, I mean, a lot of production facilities are on fire or otherwise injured, but not a lot of barracks actually went down there. Yeah, he lost an orbital, though. Another oh, Nidus is getting called in by Solar. I don't know how I feel about this position for Kiri. He's down about 60 supply. And, oh, the Zerg now on Ultras. Uh, here come the Ultras. That's going to be a game changer. Yes, Kier scanning those ultras and banes. He's like, oh, I'm in trouble. And he just says, that's that, GG. Yeah, he saw the ultras and said, I am not prepared for those at all, GG. Ladies and gentlemen, we that are was heading a fantastic on into game, game three. Yeah, that was some really, really, really good ZBT stuff. And yeah, that's the key. I mean, your marines and your marauders are really fantastic for most of the game, but once ultras come out... Suddenly, you need things like Liberators and especially Ghosts to really handle them, or a lot of Marauders. And if you have mostly Marines, it's going to be a hard time. And that's something Kier understood and tapped right on out of there. So a good job by him. Tying the series up. Solar gets the win. Going to be a one-to-one -one going into our game number three. Some pretty good series so far. We've had Africa, um, Africa Worlds where it's just a total uh, sweep show <laughs> where... People who win just absolutely crush. Yeah. Uh, I think with but, uh, Solar and Kier, though, it's pretty likely that we won't have that happen, and we obviously aren't. And that's just well, because... Yeah, it's already, yeah, exactly. As you said, these guys, so, so good. Now, I guess Solar is in uh, China or Taiwan at the moment, because he asked me to host on the Taiwan server. Which oh. is interesting. But... What we saw hmm. is that uh, with But Always and Dong Ryu, this is actually something I didn't know, is that apparently, like, I have no idea how this would work. It was my belief that ping was like a one-way thing each way, but apparently Koreans have fine ping to the Taiwanese server, but Taiwanese players have bad ping to the Korean server. That is interesting. That okay. was according to But Always. And in that yeah. last series, I asked Dong Regu, like, are you lagging? Because we played all the games on the Taiwanese server. And he's like, no, it's fine. Hmm. So that's actually something really interesting to know. Anyway, here we are, spawning up in the top right hand side of the map. It's Solar. And in the bottom left, from Jin Air Green Wings, it's Cure. Wait, did I get that backwards? No, you, that's right. You got Cure it, right? Jin Air. Okay. Just had this moment of self-doubt. Those are the best. <laughs> All right. Uh, so, yeah. Did four, I put on pants sleepers. this morning? I know, right? <laughs> Don't usually forget that, but I have gotten all the way to work without my badge a couple times. It's always great. Ooh. Actually, last week, I got all the way to work without my wallet or my badge. Oh. That was a twofer. Anyway, hey, look, Overlord. Not really. <laughs> if you're much. solar, you should just open up pool at this point, right? 
Yeah, just pool first. Cure has a plan and he's sticking to it. <laughs> oh my god, he's like so committed. Does Cure just not want to show like any other builds or whatever? I guess. I mean, the thing is, if he can beat Cure, I really like his chances versus Don Regu. You might as well go for the money, man. Yeah. Uh, uh, oh, we're done. Spotted. Are we though? Uh, yeah. These things always seem like. Yeah. I think I just the mean positioning spotted. Of the I don't mean here. over. Yeah. Yeah, the positioning of the rack seems to really favor solar in this one. They're so close to the natural that the drones can get on top of this easy, easy peasy. So the marine for Kira is running, but running to what? Uh, uh. <laughs> I mean, I guess he can take the drones for a joyride. Another marine about to pop on out here. There's two marines now that can tuck themselves into the corner of here. So these drones, I mean, they've been out on the map a long time. And they're actually kind of trapped. Yeah, that's interesting. They're like, uh, <laughs> hold on. Can't go home again. Wait a second. We were we were doing stuff. It was great. Okay, now we're they're going to come in. They're looking for a surround, but this is a lot of mining that they've not been doing. Dude, these bunkers are scary. Oh, the surround could be real, though. Cure his marines. They're trying to tuck uh, themselves in a corner. They get there, but is there enough DPS for this even to work out for him? One of the bu two of the bunkers actually finished up this time around. That marine should have been running towards get in the them. Bunker. Get in the bunker. Oh, he's not though. Uh, maybe the next marine can rally in there. Yes, he can, but oh, uh, two more lings out. So I don't. Yeah, uh, Kira decides not to go for it. And with that, I think he's done. Right? He hasn't started up a factory or a CC back at home yet. I don't think he did enough damage. No. No, definitely not. He's not even salvaging the bunkers. He's just oh, that one's getting salvaged. Okay. Hmm. So what? Twenty to twenty-two workers. Once again, you can fail on these proxies and win. Like yeah. to the point that mm. that's why they're so common, right? It's not cheese that if it gets sniffed out and shut down, you die. Not all the time, anyway. Yeah, this is still looking pretty tough here for here, I think. Oh, for sure. I'm not saying it's easy, but uh, it's definitely something that has been done in the past, but not looking super good here. Lings are going to die. More Lings on the way, but now there's a wall and there's three Marines behind said wall. Be it, so. Third CC, no surprise from Kier. This just seems really bad from the Terran. Like... Yeah, I'm looking at it. I'm trying to figure out a way that he hangs on, but Solar's making six drones at a time. He is getting speed for Overlords now, so he'll have a better idea of what he's dealing with. Yeah, I almost want to... Yeah, I have no idea what Kira should go for, or what he can really go for. He's going for the bio, though, again, it would seem, but getting anything done versus solar at this point on this map... I think it's going to be very, very tough for the Terran. Solar already saturating his third base. He's even going to have that high-value gas there. Yeah, so the Overlord sees the command center and says, uh-huh, this is what you did last game to me. Okay, we're seeing an armory this time. That's different from Kier. Yeah, he got it eventually, go for... but it wasn't early. Yeah, yeah, this is definitely the aggressive kind of armory. So a medivac and the uh, stim with some marines and hellions is going to be a bit of a push here. Oh, hellions looking to poke on in. Banelingness starts for solar. Hey, 
Here come the Hellbats. These are a little bit scary for players who aren't really used to them, but I mean, Solar has seen this a million times. Bailing Nest about to finish. And there's a window here where these Hellbats can do a ton of work. There's no plus one, plus one. It's just Lings. The Banelings are on the way, but they're not done yet. And yeah. man, getting these Banelings down before they come up would be huge, but he's just... Why this are you fighting on top of the really Banelings? really lethal. Dude, get the Banelings! Not okay. All right. Oh, there's a few Hellbats left here still to engage these Lings, and suddenly Solar's army is wearing a bit thin. The third oh. base itself could be going down. It gets one, two transfuses, though, and it looks like the push is going to fail here from Cure. He took a good Solar trade just, versus the army, but nothing just, else, really. Yeah, the Queen's hugely important there. Army supply is 25 to 23. Solar has a lead, but just barely. 24 Lings on the way. That plus one, plus one is really important for this, and it is going to finish up here in the next 10 or 20 seconds or so. Does he have enough time is the question. I mean, this isn't a big army from Solar, or from Cure, rather. This is just clearing out creep, and doesn't want to extend too far. Yeah, curie has got himself a third base, but as you said, those upgrades are a big deal, and whereas the Zergs are just finishing, the Terran hasn't even started his 1-1 one -one yet. As I say that, it finally goes up, but he's going to be down a set of upgrades for the rest of the game. And is at a clear deficit as Solar has got up to his fourth base. He's getting up his Hydralisk Den. And I don't know what Kira's supposed to do here. He's not in a great spot. Yeah, Solar just droning up, making Ling getting... Oh, actually going oh, Hydralisk. Oh, that there. is disastrous for Kira. His Marines tucking themselves in the Ebays, but... He's committing to a bit of an attack right now, clearing creep, but he's just got nothing else at home. SCVs are being pulled. He was still making Hellbats, so he's actually got two Hellbats to try and defend, but still taking losses that he cannot afford at this point in the game. Oh, that, oh, that was four. Now it's eight SCVs. That does not go very well. Look pretty bad. Actually, Ling's escaping with their lives and going to the third base, which is hilarious. Kira throws up a depot, says, nope. Not coming in that side. You go in there, you die. Oh, More solar. In. Oh, you sneaky Zerg, but Cure. Oh, but Cure he wasn't born yesterday. His... Nope, that's a cancel. Or just death? Okay, there was one cancel, and then death. <laughs> okay. Fair enough, guy. Solar continues to surge in supply as Cure is. Just surging towards nothing, really. I mean... He, he just dwindles in comparison to the Zerg at this point. Like, Solar has done everything that he needs to do right now. He's just building up a huge army. And it's not even that bad of an army. Hydraling Bane is a very, very good composition versus Terran Bio when used correctly. And Solar is one of the masters at doing so. Cure, who continuously tries to clear Creep, is just, uh... His situation ain't getting any better here. And, no. Oh, look at this. Ugh. Yeah, Hellbats are just so bad against the Hydraling Baneling army. It's just not the right choice here. Mm, this could be a nasty surround or <laughs> Kira's, Kira's just so dead here. Yeah, he's not even really trying to micro. He's picking up, but Hellbats are gone. Kira's going into double tank, which you gotta like, but he's not gonna have time to get into double tank, I feel. Solar is looking for a kill move. A nice trade here with the Marines versus Lings, but there's there's literally just so much Solar here that Kira does not stand a chance right now. Lings and Banelings and Hydras spewing forward. Solar has the upgrade advantage, and yeah, he's just dead. GG. Yeah, he was dead for a while before he was actually dead, but there's he, the final GG. Yes. He was dead, but he didn't know it yet. Right. Happens sometimes. I mean, yeah, just after the bunker rush, they didn't do anything. Army value for solar just skyrockets. There's not much for Cure. He tries to go for the Hellbat push. Doesn't work out for him. Banelings are there. And yeah, rough place to be. Rough place to be versus somebody as good as solar is. So two to one lead here for solar going into our next game. Going to be an uphill battle for sure. For a cure to make it to that final best of seven, but anything is possible, especially with a Terran as good as Cure is. We'll see if he goes for the proxy again. It would be interesting if he didn't go for the proxy, but Solar went for the pool first anyway. Yeah, I think That'd if be uh, kind of fun. I think if Cure goes for the two racks again, I think he deserves to lose this series. 
<laughs> just morally done. Like once or twice, it's all right, but four times in a row would be a bit excessive, dare I say. So we'll Wouldn't see be. if he's going to change it up or if he's just going to commit. But I mean, it could totally be like a reverse psychology thing where Solar says, there's no way he's going to proxy me four times in a row. Yeah, but I don't know if Solar says there's no way he's going to proxy me because he's Kier. And Solar mm. and Kier have played a bajillion times. <laughs> and it's not really a bajillion times, but as far as Korean StarCraft 2 pro players go, they have met a lot. If you check it out on a Ligalac, like, it's, it's like every week or something, it would almost seem. They know each other pretty well. All right, here we are. And look at that. No proxy racks from this man in the bottom right. It's Kier. <laughs> He's learned his lesson. And in the top left, it's Solar. Solar. Probably suffering from paranoia at this point. He's just like, will he, will he do it again? I mean... <laughs> The reverse psychology, as you said, is definitely a thing. Just in the even if you don't actually do it. He's done such a good job scouting it, though. He scouted everyone, didn't he, with the Overlord? Yeah, yeah, all at a all at a different point, but he scouted everyone. Uh, the first one worked for Cure, right? Yeah, and then it was uh. It was the second two that failed, so it really goes to show that it's just kind of the inconsistency of the build that wins sometimes. Although, if it is a coin flip, 50-50, Kier's bound to win the next one, right? Yeah, I don't know. If he was two Raxing, that is. Right. But he's not, so. Everything is cool. All right, so this map has nifty bridges where you can set up tanks and threaten the third base, so we will see. We'll see if Cure does that. Every single TBZ I've casted, this the uh, Terran does that, so. If he does what, pardon? So at the third position uh, for Solar, third base, or fourth base, rather. Yeah, fourth base up towards here, you have these two bridges leading into it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you set up some tanks there, you get some uh, some marauders on there. It's really hard to dislodge. So, we'll see. We'll see if that happens or not. Yeah, I'm excited to see what Kier's is going to do in an actual normal macro game. So far, a normal opening. And I mean, Kier is one of those guys who's just willing to, like, macro up. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if we see just, like, a third CC this game, even though he didn't open up with the two racks. Like, it's a perfectly viable strategy, him powering up on bio and trying to kill Solar before he gets there. Or gets to, uh, say, like, Ultras and everything like that. Or even after, Kier is a Terran who can definitely go late game. Oh, Reaper. Gets a bit injured, but gets out. Or, do you think we'll see a BC rush? I just don't have much faith in the BC anymore. New, struggled with it, but anymore, it gets scouted and then prepared for. And really, the preparation is have a bunch of queens, which Solar wants to do anyway. <laughs> right? <laughs> Ain't that the truth? <laughs> so I don't know. I'm not a fan of the battle cruiser oh. rush. There is. Oh. Is there going to be right. an armory? Or is this just going to be a hellion drop? Oh, there is an armory. Kier's okay, just trying man. to speedrun this series, man. Yeah, who needs a third base, honestly? Pneumatized Carap is about 10 seconds away, though, and once that's done, Solar's gonna be like, oh, an armory. I need to build a spine and make some lings and keep making queens. <laughs> Overlord coming in, trying to dodge around the Marines. Again, you can avoid those the Vikings you have to worry about. Does Kier just... Okay, no, he's actually going for the push. But Solar, I get the feeling that he's like, yeah, something's not right here. 
Now he sees a tech lab just starting on the starport, so he's like, okay, maybe something is amiss right now. But he's actually just droning right now. Solar didn't he? sniff this out. He never actually saw oh, the armory. Oh, he doesn't have oh a my bailing mess. That's going to be queen. I have seen queens and lings hold this, but yeah. I think it's a really nice micro. If the queens can buy enough time, a hold is definitely realistic for the Zerg. But as the Hellbats start to get near those drones, it becomes a little bit concerning. Solar having to run them, though. But yeah, we see the Hellbats not actually getting a lot done. Hellion's trying to get onto some of the drones. And oh, this is where the damage could really happen. The drones are actually getting a surround on the Hellions, though, and they wow. go down. And I think Solar may be able to hold this. There's just a few Terran units left. And the hold does happen. Oh, my gosh. Uh, it's ridiculous. The Ling's doing way more than they should be able to. The Queen's focusing the medevac early was really important, too. It's a Cloak Banshee follow-up, but I think Spores already exist for Solar. Yeah, they are, because he was just expecting some other kind of pressure when... In reality, it was that crazy attack. Very good hold from Solar. It's very notable that he continuously kited the Queen's back. The Hellbats are just so, so slow that uh, a good Zerg player like Solar can kite back versus them. And then uh, the fact that he was also able to get the drone surround on those two Hellions, like if Kier had, say, slipped away from those drones, he could have easily doubled his kill count on the drones. Yeah, it could have been really dangerous there, but Solar lucked out losing as few drones as he did. He's back up to 48. He's making six at a time. Bailing Nest now on the way, realizing he kind of skipped that earlier. Could have been easier hold with that Bailing Nest. Cloak Banshee coming on in. Queen count... What are we looking at here? Five queens, and we have four spores. So, I mean, I just okay. don't... Okay. Whoa, this is this is an interesting push that could be coming out from uh, Kira right now. Now, Solar, though, he is making Banelings, but look at this. Two Banshees and some Hellbats are going to be going for a push. This is a very, very classical push. The Banshees getting on top. The queens are actually going to focus down the Banelings in such nice. a sick play. Only one Baneling remains, but the Banshees will go down. They're trying to get that final Bane. They do get it. Solar, though, has morphed another one or two and uh, will repel those Hellions with minimal losses. Yeah, additional Hellbats coming on in, going for the push. Mutalisks, uh, rather, Spire on the way. Could be Mutos, we'll see. Would make sense against this particular thing, but... Yeah, he's just not killing workers. Army supply pretty even here, but Solar's economy is just through the roof fantastic at the moment. Yeah, another Banshee is out for the Terran, but it's it's not a good spot here for Cure. There's no doubt about it. Solar has just done everything right. Oh, an attempt at a fourth base going to get shut down by that Banshee. Not bad. All right. like to see that Banshee still there, but Solar just says, fine, I'll take another base. Cure has got the Hellions, but uh, he's a Terran bio player, so they're not going to be too, too useful for him at this point in the game. And he's actually made even more Hellions. Wow, he's up to 12 Hellions. Still, I would say it's mechy, except for doing combat shield and plus one infantry attack. Yeah, like this is full-fledged bio, just he made a lot more Hellions than a Terran normally opens up with. He's trying to fake out Solar, make him think it's mech when it's not. <laughs> Messing with my head. It's, it's, I mean, Solar's seen all the racks, but it's yeah, like, it could true. be mech. Why is there so many Hellions? I mean, that's one thing I look for in ZVTs is how many Hellions are coming out. Once you get to like 15 or 20, it definitely feels like mech, but... Now Mutas are out. This is, this could be bad for the Terran player. Uh, here uh, is in trouble. Widowmine should burrow. They do not. The mutas are going to have to be pushed away. Kier needs to try and take as little damage as possible here because these mutas completely caught him by surprise. Missile turret, he's trying to get up in his main base, gets cancelled. The one at the third, I feel, might finish. It's going to be close. He's got a few marines popping out of that bunker, though. Will allow that to be established. Either way, a nice bit of damage, though, from Solar. He holds up his, his opponent's attack and uh, bought himself some time. Banshee picked out. A lot of Banshees dying in this game. They're doing their best, but not really holding yeah, on Yeah, they're not really long. doing a lot, though, even if it is their best. Yeah, yeah. seven more mutants Kier. on the way. Solar believes. Kier loves his factory units this game. It's eight Widow Mines, 12 Hellbats. That lot. one factory he has... he's got has been working nonstop. 
And no upgrades on his factory units either. No drilling claws, no plus one vehicle attack. It's just yeah. all bio upgrades. He does have, yeah, the plus one uh, attack versus Solar's lack of upgrades already. That was actually looking very nice for Kieran. He's got a supply lead. He's got so many Hellbats and Widow Mines, and all of a sudden, there's not that many Banelings for the Zerg. Solar spent a lot of resources on these meters, but are they going to help him defend versus his push? It's going to be close. I mean, the Bane League's getting pretty good hits. The Mutas are trying to deal with the remaining Marines. If that number's high enough, that's going to be hard to do. The Medivac goes down, and Solar holds it just fine. Losing a couple drones, but he can afford to do that. Pretty good splits, but a ton of Marines go down anyway. Still enough to chase the Mutas away. 22 Lings in production. And Cure, he needs to go back for another push. He can't let Solar sit there on five bases. Yeah, that might have just been the one hold that Solar needs, though. All of a sudden, 18 Bane Links on the way. The Terran player just doesn't have that much supply compared to the Zerg now, and with 23 Banelings done, going up against 30 Marines, I like those odds for the t for the Zerg. Oh, the plus two armor of Cure is going to get oh. denied. He might get that plus two attack if he darts back in, and he oh, is. Oh, and he is. Solar, such oh, a smart Zerg. Kier had Marines, but they uh, weren't quite in position. Uh, the Mutas are uh, going to get it. No. Oh, that is disastrous oh. for the Terran. That is so hard to come back from. Those upgrades are so, so important for this bio. Oh, oh man. I feel so bad for Kier right now. Yeah, Muta Control has been pretty good for Solar. I don't think he's lost very many of them. He's really no, known when to take his fights. Known when to focus on aggression, known when to pull back. Yeah, Solar has very, very solid mechanics. I feel like, uh... Okay, he's already got another factory, but I wouldn't even mind another factory going down for Kier. Yeah, Thor's on the way. Drilling Claw's now coming in at the 11 and a half minute mark. Uh, Terran player, he's got Widow Mines, he's got... Marines, but this Zerg is just looking for blood right now. We see Solar is going to look to push forward. There is no drilling claws yet. The Widow Mines don't get their connections off. Uh, Baneling spilling forward. This could be an overcommitment from Solar, but either way, it looks like he's going to get some damage as the STVs are in trouble. Here has to kite back with his Marines. He's splitting to the best of his ability, oh. but there's just too much Zerg here right now. Uh, his Thor pops out. Uh, but somehow, Kier stays alive. Yeah, fourth base has to get out of there. Got a couple things going after that uh, missile turret. They're going to cause it to burn down at least if it doesn't get repaired. Kyrus, staying alive for now. He's got more Marines coming out. He's got Medivacs to try and heal these units. He can always micro that Thor away, but there's just so much Zerg. Solar's just rallying units out, although a bunker is here for Kyr. So he is staying alive. He is, but he's down in overall supply, army supply, worker count, upgrades. That 2-2 finishing up right now. First solar, Baneling just crushing through it. And not yeah, ideal two position, two. but there are just so many. Uh, yeah, That's the 2 is not even done yet, but solar just crashes through. Yeah, GG. Well, 10 seconds away. <laughs> yeah, that plus 2 flyer attack was done. The 2-2 two -two for the Lings and the Banelings up there too, and plus two, plus two for the bio, which is not even 